Um, there's not going to be a huge break, but we are going to have a time of praise and worship and prayer and reflection um, for Florida and for Texas um, to kind of um, pray for the victims. We're going to do that, and then we're going to have a time of there'll be uh, bowls passed around, and if you feel led to uh, donate more than what you did at the door, you are more than welcome to donate as well. If you want to donate by check, please write the check out to Brian College and then note it, um, Hurricane Irma, and we actually we have an account made that the, all of that money will go into that one account, and then the, the college will um, will write the, will cut the checks for the, the places that we're sending it to. I'm actually going to give you more information at the end before that about where we're sending the money to, who's going to be benefited by that um, at the end of the concert, before the praise and worship, um, and before the prayer. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to get started with, uh, with Crystal Elam. So give her a hand. Well, good afternoon. So good to be here this afternoon. I was telling Bailey I've never been up here to the college, and what a beautiful campus you all have. It is a beautiful, beautiful place, and glad to be in this beautiful uh, auditorium tonight, aren't you? And we're going to worship the Lord tonight. That's what we came for. We're going to worship Him. We're going to raise some money for these people that were uh, afflicted by these hurricanes, and I can't imagine what that would be like to uh, lose my home. So um, let's help those people out tonight. But this song here, it says that I'm going home to be with Jesus. Can you say that tonight? That I'm going home to be with him. Amen? Y'all help me out. Put your hands together. Don't be shy. I'm going home with Jesus in the twinkling of an eye. And I made my reservation for a mansion in the sky. I may not know the moment. Or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. Going home with Jesus in the twinkling of an eye. And I've made my reservation for a mansion in the sky. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. I'm listening for the trumpet to sound most any time and the crown of life that's waiting thank god will soon be mine yes i got my invitation to a place called calvary by the precious blood of jesus the trip's been paid for me i'm a going home with jesus in the twinkling of an eye and i made my reservation for a mansion in the sky i may not know the moment or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. The captain of the vessel is called to get on board, and the destination's heaven straight from the crystal shore. We'll meet again the Savior and our loved ones who have gone to live through all eternity. Thank God we're going home. I'm going home with Jesus. In the twinkling of an eye And I made my reservation For a mansion in the sky I may not know the moment Or may not know the day But I know that I'll be leaving When he calls his church away Sing it with me Going home with Jesus In the twinkling of an eye And I made my reservation For a mansion in the sky I may not know the moment or may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away.
That's when he saw her in the back of the church. Her silence and sadness cried out the hurt. The kind shepherd knew just what to say. I need to know before we pray. An unspoken request. to help me out on this next song. Anybody like country gospel? Put your hands together and sing. Put your hands just like this. It says pray about everything. Time is tight and money is short. The weather's up and the weatherman is calling for another storm. Pressure's on and margins thin. Gotta figure out a fix for this awful fix I'm in. Oh, mama, what am I gonna do? She says, child, there's only one thing you can do. Don't worry about nothing. Let it go, see what tomorrow brings. Don't worry about nothing. Pray about everything. Blues go sailing off into the air, oh mama, what am I gonna do? She says, honey, there's only one thing you can do. Don't worry about nothing. Let it go, see what tomorrow brings. Don't worry about nothing, pray about everything. Take a cane pole to the fishing hole and catch a couple fish. And just like that, toss some back, make a little wish. Don't worry about nothing. Let it go, see what tomorrow Let it 
about myself really quickly. I don't do a whole lot of talking. I'd rather just sing to you, but my name is Crystal Elam, and I'm from the East Ridge, Tennessee area. Anybody know where that is? All right, all right. Just about an hour down the road, so um, I have been singing gospel music for about t 10 years now, traveling full-time now uh, with my ministry, and Loving every minute of it. God's blessing my ministry every day, and I appreciate him so much. Um, I used to sing with a gentleman that was from this very town right here of Dayton, Tennessee, by the name of Jim Ricketts. Anybody heard that name before? All right. I had a feeling you just might. He was very well known in this area and a very, very, very highly respected man of God. And uh, he's going to be on with the Lord in January, but I know he's having a good time up there singing in that heavenly choir, but I miss him very much. And I know some of you do as well. Um, but that is my story. I'm, I'm, I'm continuing on with my ministry, singing as much as I possibly can and blessing as many people as we can along the way. Um, this song here says, did I mention that I love him? Did I mention that I worship him? You know, I'm not up here to entertain you. I'm up here to worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And this song talks about that very love. Called Did I Mention? Davy sang the praises of the glory. All is lost, save knowing Christ. Little John said he is precious by leaning on his bosom so far among 
Thank you. Thank you. This next song talks about faith. Every day we wake up, we walk by faith. We won't be walking by faith when we get to heaven. But listen to the words of this song. A helpless man, lamb from birth, the only one who saw his worth didn't pass him by. He heard his cry. He rubbed his eyes with a handful of clay, and he said, go and wash in the pool today. And the blind man knew that's what he had to do. You know, along the way, he couldn't help but trip and fall. Each time he got back up again, I wonder if he vocal up here, that would be great. Thank you. This next song, it's, it's called The Banks of the Promised Land, and I can't wait to get to those banks of the promised land. One day, we're all going to be there. If you know the Lord is your personal Savior, you'll be with, there, me, with me as well. But one day, we will be on those banks of the promised land. <laughs> On the solid rock, far away from the sinking sands. And I cast my eyes to the home that awaits on the banks of the promised land. There's a song of praise that is lifted there by the same. Join the choir on the banks of the cross. 
wash away as I cross that stream to the banks of the promised land. Oh, hallelujah, what a morning when I reach for that nail-starred hand and I'm led from grace to Then I'll see the face of my Savior dear Beckon close by his sweet commands All my burdens gone, I will rest at last On the banks of the so much i've got a couple more songs i want to share with you and this song a lot of people call this the little doll song because it talks about a a little girl who has a love for the broken ones and i, I this song is very dear and near to my heart i have a a very good friend who is a handicap and you know some people will look at him and say well he's broken he's undone he, he's not like me and just pass by but you know we got to care for everybody no matter where they come from, no matter what walk of life, no matter what disability they may have, we have to love the broken ones. Because we're all broken ones in God's sight. We were all broken at one time. But God loves us all. And that's what this song talks about, called The Broken Ones. Maggie came home one day with a raggedy, raggedy ass. She said, Mama, look what I found in the neighbor's garbage can. It had a missing left arm and a right button eye hanging by a thread. She carried it gently up to her room and laid it on her bed with her other dog. Favorite. 
so much. Well, this next song, I don't know why I put it at the end. I am lost my mind, apparently. Because it's a powerful, powerful song, but it's not a very easy song to sing. But it is a beautiful song. Anybody here heard the story of Lazarus? Anybody know who that is? Anybody heard the story that he was there four days and God raised him up after four days of being there? And to, to us, we would say, well, that's not possible. With, it, with God, anything's possible. Amen? And it tells us that no matter what you're going through tonight, no matter what you may have been praying about for years, years, you could have been praying that a family member would turn their life over to the Lord for years, and you think God's not going to show up, God's not going to work in that person's life. But just when you least expect it, God shows up, and he shows out. And this song tells us that God is always on time. A song called Four Days Late. The news came to Jesus. Please come fast. Lazarus is sick, and without your help, he will not last. Mary and Martha watch their brother die. They waited for Jesus. He did not come, and they wondered why. The death watch was over, buried for days. Somebody said, he'll soon be here. The Lord's on his way. Martha ran to him, and then she cried. Lord, if you had been here, you could have healed him, and he'd be alive. But your four days
Amen. Are you thankful for that tonight? That no matter what, he's still on, he's always on time. No matter what we're going through, he will show up just when you least expect it. I'm so thankful tonight. Again, it's been wonderful to be here, and I hope y'all have enjoyed my part of, of tonight. Um, <laughs> thank you. We got some good singers coming up. Miss Sarah Tipton, she's so sweet. I met her not too long ago, and it just seems like we keep crossing paths every other day, it seems like. But uh, she'll do a wonderful job for you. And then we got Beth and Brad Harris. Anybody ever heard of them? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm excited. And then we got a new group in the back, and I'm so sorry I forgot the name. Jug Band. I don't know if they're going to bring jugs up here or what. Who knows? <laughs> we'll find out. But this last song, it says that I have been blessed. Can anybody here tonight say, I've been blessed? Amen. You know, I, I, I was thinking about this on the way here. You know, all these people that have been affected by these hurricanes, we're blessed. Amen. We got a little wind and rain, but we're blessed that we didn't have all that. And we're blessed that when we leave here tonight, we have a home to go to with a roof over our head and a warm bed to sleep in. We've got clothes on our back. We have shoes on our feet. And we have food on our table. That's more than a lot of people have. I live in Chattanooga. And there's this one overpass that I go by. And it reminds me every single time I go by there because that is their home under there. That's where they live. That tent that's set up under there is their home. And I, when I leave, I'm going back to my home. And, you know, we just take things for granted. We take for granted that we have the things that we have. And this song will remind you of all those many things that God has blessed us with. I have been blessed When he walks among us And all that he does All of his mercy and all of his love. If the pen of the writer could write everything, even his words could never contain. And the changing of leaves Food on my table And a good place to sleep Clothes on my back And shoes on my feet Oh, I have been blessed Arms that will raise A voice that can talk
as liberty calls. All gave some, but some gave all for me to be blessed. A father and mother nurtured and raised, a brother and sister and the memories we've made. Pastors to lead us and altars to pray. Stripes that can heal and the blood that can save. Oh, I have been blessed. Well, he's my shoulder to lean on when I am down. The rock where he leads me when I'm overwhelmed. The place where he hides. Just a song, he's the reason I sing. Oh, I have been blessed, God so good to me. Precious are his thoughts of you and me. No way could I count them, there's not enough time. So Thank you, Crystal. Um, I actually met Crystal a couple of years ago. Um, actually, whenever I saw um, her and Jim singing at the um, it was the Christmas thing up at the um, Armory, the Ray County Armory that I um, saw them at. So very excited to have her here. Um, this next girl that we have coming up, I've actually known her for a couple of years as well. Her name is Sarah Tipton. Um, she's a t- I, there, I can't even explain um, how she sounds. She is a great singer. Very glad. I've told her. I said. I've, I've asked her several times to be able to come and do it, just different things that I've done, just to come and sing, and the, our scheduling hasn't been able to work out. So whenever she said yes to this, I was like, yes, this is going to work, um, because I've wanted her to be able um, to come and do something with me. So very excited that she is here. So let's give her a hand. Sarah Tipton. Well, I'm honored, and it is a blessing to be here tonight with all you good folk. You're a good-looking crowd. Everybody came out all dressed up on this Friday night. Um, this first song I'm going to do, I don't know about y'all, but I get excited when I think about the day that Jesus calls to take us home. Because just like he raised Lazarus from the dead, death is no impossibility for him. And if they lay this old body of mine in the ground before the rapture happens, I know what's going to happen. When he calls, when that trumpet sounds, there is no grave that's going to hold me down. There is no tombstone that's going to be staying in its place because I'm going to come up and I'm going to be with Jesus. So y'all worship with me. And clap. Clapping's always fun.
tell you, if anything will take the air out of you, it's that one. That's okay. We've got a couple more that's going to do that too. My God's a mountain mover. If he can raise the dead, what makes you think that whatever problem is in your life is too big for him? Because we look at it and we overcomplicate things. We say, oh, Lord, there's, there's no way you can do that. You know what? There's someone somewhere down in Florida and down in Texas that's going to receive the proceeds of what you good people have done tonight. And some kind of a mountain in their life is going to be moved by God. God's working all the way up here for people all the way down there. And you think that he's not doing that in your life in some way or another? Trust me, he is. I've seen him do it too many times. My God is a mountain mover. Watch him turn it all around Nothing is impossible I can't fall back, I've got a shout My God, my God, my God Is a mountain mover Got a problem in my pathway I feel I'm frozen here Doubts are circling high above me But in the shadow of my fear The fire of faith is stirring Growing inside of me Reminding me of something I already believe My God is a mountain mover My God's gonna make a way Can't count all the times he's proven We can trust him just to be Take a hopeless situation Watch him turn just for a little bit and y'all probably are going to know this song and even if you don't exactly know it I bet you're going to know most of the words and you can sing along because I believe that worship touches our father's heart and that's fine with me y'all want to sing he ain't going to bother me at all um, I looked up just real quick I, I don't know why I just thought to look it up the actual definition of amazing and amazing is to cause great surprise or wonder astonishment how many of us can say that we are still truly astonished by the grace of God I know we are when we get saved I know that there are times in our life too that we go through things and, and it just hits us all like a ton of bricks but how many try to remember daily I myself I'm stepping on my own toes how many of us try to remember daily exactly how astonishing his grace is grace is un deserved. Grace is something where you're standing before the judge and he has absolutely no reason to pardon you and he says, you can go. That is the kind of thing that our God does for us. Completely undeserved freedom from our sins through Jesus Christ. We have every reason to be astonished at that. And heaven forbid the day that we don't praise him for it. 
I want to live my days breathing and praising and singing for the grace that he has given us. So sing along with me and worship. On the note of amazing, most of y'all probably know the story of Peter. I'm assuming most of you look like you're enjoying this music, which means you probably know some things about grace and forgiveness and Jesus in the Bible. So, you know that Peter was the one who said, no, Lord, I'll never deny you. And then he did anyway. 
He's the exact one who denied the Lord not only once, not twice, but three different times. And he's the same one that Jesus forgave and stood before anyway. Because that's what our Lord does. It doesn't matter how far you've gone. It doesn't matter how far you've strayed from that path that he had from you for you. And those ideas that you had that you knew was the Lord telling you to do something, and you just kind of backed away and you went the other direction. It doesn't matter how far off track you got. He still loves you anyway. And he still wants to forgive you, and he still wants to take you right back into that track he had for you. And I can't think of the way that it must have felt for Peter when he realized that. When he realized that Jesus was not dead, they weren't in the cool crowd. They were hiding. And Mary comes to tell them that the body is gone. And everybody tells them, oh, well, you know, they said that the disciples were going to steal the body. So they know they're about to get blamed for this even though they didn't do it. But they get there, and I don't know what's going on there. They get there, and the body really was gone, but there was an angel waiting for them. <laughs> that part, that's pretty cool. I don't know who, you, I don't know what y'all think, but that's just cool to me. I mean, it, it's one thing that Jesus raised from the dead, but he left somebody there to tell him where he'd went. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool, because, you know, he knew that the humans were going to say, oh, it's gone, his body's gone, it's not supernatural, somebody stole it. No, you can't deny an angel sitting there telling you that he's risen. You just can't do it. So when Peter realized that, and he said, my Lord is alive, he's alive, he's not dead, and I'm forgiven, can you imagine the jubilation that must have caused in his soul? That should cause it for us today, when we realize that we are forgiven, that our chains are gone, that we are free from the doubt and the fear and the failures that have preceded us, that we are children of God and that he is alive and not only alive in front of us and before us and all around us but in us hey that'd make me shout <laughs> anyway here we go this is a story song so hang in with me okay gates and doors were barred and all the windows fastened down I spent the night in sleeplessness and rose at every sound Half in hope the sorrow and half in fear the day We find the soldiers breaking through to drag us all away Just before the sunrise I heard something at the wall The gate began to rattle and a voice began to call I hurried to the window and looked down to the street Swords and torches, and the sound of soldiers. There was no one there but Mary, so I went down to let her in. John stood there beside me as she told me where she'd been. She said they moved him in the night. And Filled with a strange and sweet perfume 
light that came from everywhere drove shadows from the room. And Jesus stood before me with his arms held open wide. I fell down on my knees and I just clung to him and cried. And he raised me to my feet. And as I looked into his eyes, love was shining. take the voice the song or the breath that took my voice lord well we have a special little treat for you because we unexpectedly needed just a, a little bit more music and sarah didn't have any more cd so we're going to get miss beth and mr brad miss crystal up here <coughs> praying that my voice holds out for this and we're going to do an acapella song because he is alive and because we are forgiven. We have a heaven that we are to gain. We have a land that we are going to see if we truly believe in him. And I'm thankful for that. I praise him for that. And if you believe that in your heart, then you know that you have a Beulah land waiting on you as well. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I get homesick for a place that I've never been to before. It seems crazy. But sometimes this life just gets to you and you just say, Lord, I really can't wait to get there. I just can't wait to see what it's going to be. So worship with us. This is something that we practiced one time off stage <laughs> back there about an hour ago. So this is, this is an experiment. I'm kind of homesick for a country to which I've never been before. No sad goodbyes will there be spoken, and time will matter. Just 
a few more days to labor, and then I'll take my heavenly flight. Beulah land, I'm longing for you. was awesome. Wow. Well, that was, that was great. Let's give them another hand for that. All right. Awesome. So this next group that's coming up, they've actually done a lot of stuff for me. I think whenever Chris, whenever I call and Chris sees my number on the caller ID, he's probably like, oh Lord, what's Bailey doing now? Um, so, yeah, so they've done a lot of stuff for me. It, see? Exactly. So, hey, I keep him busy, though, so that's good. Ain't that right, Chris? Yeah. Please yeah. Keep exactly. So there you go. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, so they, they, they do a really good job. They've done a lot of my stuff that I've done. They've, um, and it, it's been, I just call them, and they say, okay, you tell me when. And then they, they come. So I'm definitely really glad um, to have them here. Um, they are from Spring City, which is actually where, where I am from, I lived lived in Spring City. I actually just recently moved to Dayton. I live on campus now. If you didn't know that, I bet you they they're getting tired of me saying that because I say it every time I see them. Hey, I live on campus now because um, they're they're used to me being a commuter. And so, but I was actually my commuter status was I was basically I was here from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. at night or 12 a.m. at night, and then I would go home and then I would come back Saturday and Sunday included. So I technically really wasn't even a commuter. I don't guess I was on campus all the time. Austin can probably contest to that. Uh, it's true. So yeah, can I, am I good now? Talk to the audience out there in Neverland. So he knows, he knows that I love to talk. So um, say so my family back there, they can probably contest to that as well. They know that I love to talk. I come out of the womb talking, didn't I, Granny? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so no, I'm very glad that y'all are here. Um, thank you guys for coming. Um, let me just go ahead and say for the live stream really quick, if you are wanting to donate or if any of you, whenever we have the time of donation, if you are wanting to donate and you're wanting to donate by check, please send that or make that out to Bryan College and then we will deposit it into the account that was specifically made for this. Uh, make sure you note on there for the, at the bottom it says four or whatever, put Hurricane Irma. Um, so, and then also for anyone that's watching um, via online, you can mail that check to 721 Bryan Drive, um, Dayton, Tennessee. And you can actually find that in the body of the, um, I'm looking up there like they can see me making eye contact with them. Um, they can, uh, you can see that in the comment section of, um, of the comments to be able to copy and paste or whatever you need to do with that. So, all right. Well, while they're, I think I can sit down now. Um, thank you. Mount LeConte Jug Band. Well, thank you, Bailey. Uh, we didn't get the memo that this was a prayer session tonight, but I've been praying hard in the back row there. Uh, somebody walked up to me that's heard us play before and says, do they know what kind of music you guys play? So anyway, um, we're going to try to, I don't know how we can keep it as reverent or follow Crystal and Sarah and the wonderful couple there we're uh i'm an old man and i'm 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 a little nervous but uh 
and I've been through a lot, but anyway, um, so uh, we're going to play a little back porch music for you. Hope you like it. I knew a man, Bojangles, and he danced for you in worn out shoes with silver hair and ragged shirt and baggy pants the old soft shoe he jumped so high he jumped so high then he lightly touched down I met him in the cell in New Orleans I was Looked at me to be in all the eyes of age As he spoke right out He talked of life He talked of life Laugh, slap his leg a stone He said his name Bojangles And he danced a lick Across the cell Oh, he grabbed his pants It's his favorite stance And he jumped so high Then he clicked his heel He let go a laugh He let go a laugh Shook back his clothes all around Help me out with this part Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangle, Mr. Bojangle, oh, dance. He danced with those who at minstrel shows and at county fair. Throughout the South, he spoke with tears how for 15 years that his dog and him, they traveled about. still grieve He said I dance now at every chance and honky tonk for drinks and tips but most of the time I spend behind these county bars I drinks a little bit He shook his head and as he shook his head I heard someone ask him, please. Oh, please, Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. Oh, dance. There we go. Well, thank you. Well, yes, we do have secular music tonight, but uh, each song hopefully has got a little bit of a meaning, and, um, and we got to keep our eyes on the prize, which is uh, raising money for those in need, uh, not only on the Florida and the Gulf Coast, but uh, the islands, Puerto Rico, and around that area that are uh, hurting. So tonight, Bailey's going to tell you about what we're raising money for tonight, but... Um, Try to send a few bucks, however you decide's most appropriate, uh, to help some of those other folks, especially Puerto Rico. So, anyway, all right, we're gonna we're gonna shift gears here and uh, do a little old crow medicine show that uh, was on country radio. Darius Rucker did it. We actually had been in Nashville recording this song. Because uh, we like Old Crow Medicine Show, and then Darius Rucker's folks released it. But there's normally, not to make excuses, but there's normally five of us. Gary's wife plays bass, and she's uh, just gotten out of the hospital with some foot surgery. So if you think about sending a prayer her way, Sandy Morgan, and um, 
she'll be back with us hopefully within a month or two. And um, anyway, so our other uh, lead singer is up in Michigan doing good things, left this morning to help his mother move into an assisted living place. So he was, he was scheduled to be here when we, uh, when we uh, agreed to do this for Bailey, but we're, we're happy to be here. Okay, we're going to do a little wagon.
Well, thank you. I had a little malfunction with my foot symbol up here, but uh, that's okay. All right, we're going to, uh, let's see, we're going to do, let's do a little John Denver. Yeah, this, is a, this is a sing-along, there's no doubt about that. Y'all please know sing along. All those beautiful voices out there, come on. We want to hear you up here. Help drown us out. Come on. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the tree. Younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home down Country Road. Misty taste of moonshine, teardrop in my eye, country road, take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home down country road. I hear her voice in the morning hour. She called me Radio remind me of my home Far away Driving down the road I get a feeling I should have been home yesterday Yesterday Country road Take me home To the place I belong West Virginia Thanks, and thanks for singing along. That helps a lot when you're up here and you see people singing along with you. You know that. When everybody was singing Amazing Grace, that was, that was nice. So. Well, we all are sinners, as it was said before. Some of us are further along that continuum than others, and we're certainly there somewhere along that continuum. But, uh, but we're, I tell you what, it was... To the, to the month, 50 years ago, it was the last time I was on the campus. I was a soccer player at the uh, University of Chattanooga. It's still UC at the time. And we played, I don't know if you guys still have a soccer team. Do you still have a soccer team? A varsity? Well, we, it was a varsity there. Now I think it's a club sport if they even have it. But anyway, but I remember coming up to Bryan College. I, I graduated from high school in Maryland, although I'm from Chattanooga. And uh, we made our big road trip was up from Chattanooga to Dayton. So uh, 27 wasn't quite as nice as it is now. So, <laughs> But anyway, so I thought as we were coming over here, small world. But we're not that we're going to do a, what a wonderful world, but we are going to do a little Merle Haggard for you. So help us a little bit. Somewhere in flight, they're 
taken you away, leaving me lonely. Silver wing, slowly fading out of sight. Don't You locked me out of your mind Left me standing here behind Silver wings Shining in the sunlight Roaring engine Headed somewhere They're taking you away, leaving me lonely. Silver wings, slowly fading out of sight. You locked me out of your mind Left me standing here behind Silver wings Shining in the sunlight Roaring engine it somewhere Taking you away, leaving me lonely. Silver wing, slowly fading out of sight. Silver wing, slowly fading. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gary Morgan. Thank you. <clears throat> Gary's been with the band for about a year, maybe. He's got another band called Red Bandana Band that is a good, solid country band. And uh, we have one of our other brothers in the band does a, Darrell Wallace does his own thing, Chattanooga up to Knoxville and around the area. But uh, anyway, so uh, Gary, uh, as I mentioned, is married to our, bass player and for, for a while he was dating Sandy and he said man I kind of like your sound he said how, how, how could a guy like me get in a band like that and we said marry our bass player <laughs> and he said well that's no problem so about didn't turn, <laughs> didn't turn out too bad <laughs> yeah it's about a year and a half ago maybe yeah 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 about like it'll that. be two years in May for you. Here's an old Roger Miller song for you, so we expect you to sing along with us. Someone asked earlier what our name was. We're actually the Mount LeConte Jug Band, and Chris and I have been hiking up there with uh, St. Mary's out of Oak Ridge for probably, probably 25 years now, a couple times a year, and we'd always sit around the pot-bellied stove up there and pick and grin, and uh, Finally, about 10 years ago, a couple of the girls up there said, you know, you guys should start a little band. And, uh, the rest so is history. The rest is history. <laughs> We're still a little band. Yeah. 
but we have fun and we do raise money for folks. About half the things we do, we get paid. Not much, but we do get paid. We throw it in the kitty, pays for our expenses and equipment and stuff like that. The other half, we do things like this for Bailey and we've done a few other things, but, but we enjoy that and uh, it all adds up. So here's a little... Uh, There's rooms to let for 50 cents No phone, no food, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes I'm up two hours of pushing a broom Buys a 8 by 12 four-bit room I'm a man of means by no means King of the road Third box car, midnight train my destination's Bangor, Maine. Hold worn out shirt and shit. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Very short, not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. I know every engineer on every train. No children and I call them by name every handout and every town every life that ain't like when no one's around I see trailers for sale or rent there's rooms to let for 50 cents no phone no food no pets I ain't got no cigarettes I'm up two hours of a push and a broom by the by 12 four bedroom I'm a man of means by no means king of the road I did it 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 did 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 it did it did Well, at least we got the do 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 part right. Yeah, we so we're, we're, we're getting good at that part. All right, we got a couple more for you because I think there's some more folks going to sing, right? Yeah. So we got a couple more for you. Let's see how many minutes we have here. Okay, well, uh, this is our swan song. So uh, you got to sing with us. We did, believe it or not, even though Bailey didn't give us a heads up. Uh, we did put a gospel medley, so we're going to end with a gospel medley. <laughs> so uh, you've got to help us.
some money. Thank you guys. Thank you for coming out and doing that for us. We definitely appreciated it. Um, give them another round of applause, please. All right. Now this next group, these, this fine couple here, they have been friends um, of mine for a long time. Um, they, I don't know how long they've known me for a while. Um, they are actually from Wolf Creek, um, so they I, I just I love to hear them sing. This actually will be the first time that I've ever heard them sing together. Besides here, I've, as long as I've known you guys, I haven't heard you. I've heard Beth sing solo, and then I've heard Brad sing, but I've never heard them actually sing together. So I'm very excited to do this. They are great people. I love them dearly, um, and thank you for um, for being here to support us um, and support. Um, support the victims um, from Hurricane Irma and um, Harvey. So thank you guys. Let's welcome Brad and Beth Harris. Wasn't that good on the jug band? Give another hand. Oh, he's so sweet. Ain't, he left me a stool Ain't no need to apologize about doing that kind of music. I saw three people in the spirit back here a while ago. <laughs> One of them speaking in tongues. Woo. Two of them got <laughs> saved, I think, back there, along with Mr. Bojangles, but that's okay. That's right. Hey, y'all stand up just a minute, okay? Yeah. Three of you's asleep. I ain't going to name them. Y'all just get up, <laughs> look at your neighbor and say, you're the ugliest person I've seen all day long. No, don't do that. Don't do See, you're the best-looking person I've seen all day long. Stretch, do this, okay. Give me 10 on the float. No, don't do that. All right, have a seat. We'll sing a few songs for you. Go ahead, push play. <laughs>
that city a crystal river flowing by a tree of life no pain or disappointment there will hurt singing a lot of songs about heaven tonight and that's okay and I'm looking forward to going aren't you? Not too soon now mind you but uh, yeah one day okay. I was talking to some of the students how many of you are students here at Brian? Raise your hand look at them Stand up, because you can. No, no, I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> you're young. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a few of you. That's great, man. I met some of them, where they was from and all that. And I don't like talking to teenagers much anymore. Because we, we, we were at a band competition. My daughter, Katie, is in the high school band at Ray County. And we were at a competition. That's where a bunch of schools get together, bands, you know. So my old high school, Sail Creek, was there, had their band. And I was talking to this girl from Sail Creek. Thought we might have something in common, you know. She's a student. I said, I probably went to school with your mom and dad at Sell Creek. And she didn't think much about it. A few minutes later, this woman on the other side tapped me on the shoulder. She said, you went to, she said, I'm her mother. Okay, the girl. She said, you went to school with my parents. <laughs> and she was right. I graduated with her mom and daddy. I didn't like it too much. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. But here's another song. I'm going to have a CD out soon, and, and I did a bunch of songs with different people, and this is one that Beth and I did on there, and I hope it'll bless you. He will abide. A little bit different. <laughs> Valleys low, so deep and wide, we have the holy word to guide us and the Savior by our side. There are days. We're tested, times we're tried, when we're weary with a journey, there's a Savior by our side, and He will.
When we came in tonight, I was doing pretty good, and I started getting this old stuff in my throat. Anybody else had that stuff in your throat, huh? You know what I'm talking about? I've been trying to think of a nice way to say it, and I can't. Best way I can tell you, how many of you ever picked up a, a snail off the ground or, or touched one touched one with your bare foot and I gets up in your toes? Nowhere. Gets up in your toes. And I, I got two of them things right here in my throat right now, okay? I can't take him so, nowhere. So uh, I said all that. I don't know why I said it, to tell you the truth, but I no, said it because I'm going to do, do something an old gentleman told me years ago to do. He, uh, we were singing somewhere, and he said, Brad, best thing you could do is sit down and shut up and let Beth sing. <laughs> And so I'm going to take his not. advice. Y'all listen to Beth as she sings. <laughs> he did not.
good right there now. That's a little bit too good. Go over and sit down. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry for putting that mic in front of that uh, speaker right there. You know, it seems like lately I've been singing a lot of songs trying to encourage people. Our world's in a mess, isn't it? It's in an absolute mess. And I, I know you see folks too that need encouragement. I know folks in here tonight. You don't know who your friends are sometimes. You, you don't know just what's going to happen. You don't know. It's just tough, isn't it? We all, we all been there. Anybody ever been there besides me? I've been there, right? Okay. We're putting this program together tonight, and I, I, thought, of, I thought of this. just thought I needed to do it tonight, and I hope it blesses your heart, especially if you're going through a difficult time. the struggle that shattered all your dreams and your hopes have been cruelly crushed by Satan's manifested schemes and you feel the urge within you to submit to earthly fears don't let the faith you're standing in seem to disappear Pray the Lord he can work through those who praise him praise the Lord for our God inhabits praise praise the Lord for the chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop power behind you when you praise him now Satan is a liar and he wants to make you think that we are paupers when he knows himself we're children of the king so lift up the mighty shield of faith for the battle must be won we know that jesus christ has risen so the work's already done praise the lord he can work through those who praise him praise the lord for our chains that seem to bind you serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you praise him praise the Lord he can work with those who praise him praise the Lord for our God in heaven, praise, praise the Lord. For those chains that seem to bind you, serve only to remind you that they drop powerless behind you when you pray.
Go ahead. so much. We have two more songs to do. I'm going to do one, then Beth's going to do one. Now, in the newspaper, you notice that there were more singers listed, right, than, than you see here tonight, and things like that happen. You know, people tell you they can come, and, and then things happen. I know one lady uh, works at TVA, and they were doing a, some kind of month-end close, and sure enough, the computers broke down about 3 o'clock, and she's probably still there, Miss Vicky. So she couldn't be here. It was advertised that, that, that the quartet that I sing in was going to be here. One of them works at TVA, and they're in an outage, and he couldn't come, and Ken's on a remote. And he, things like that happen, right? So I was just going to tell you, I know some of you may have come to heard some of the other singers, 
and they're not here. We didn't need them, did we? What about Miss Crystal over here? Wasn't that good? <laughs> Miss Sarah, give her another hand. And that jug band, how about it right there? Now listen, some of you, y'all come, y'all invite these folks to come sing at your church, okay? And they'll come do it. I, and I know that they would appreciate that and and all. But here's a, here, I'll tell you what, I'll make my quartet sing with me on this one. How's that? You can't see them, but they're, they're hiding in these boxes right up here, okay? There's two of them there, and there's one of them up bases here. So we'll, if you think there's four people singing here, it's because there are, all right? So go right ahead. You sing this old song with me. Y'all need some more volume on that, okay? A whole bunch more. He gave his life's blood for me. How many of you can say that tonight? Once I was straying in sin's dark valley. My Savior came down from heaven to save a poor lost soul like me. Ah! 
more. Or Beth has one more. And thank you, Bailey, for letting us come and sing and be part of this. And when them offering plates go around, I told him he need fried chicken buckets when they're pissing <laughs> around here all day. Y'all be good now, okay? So Beth's going to come share. Yeah, thank you so much. This has been an honor, and I know, I know what time it is, I think. It's dead. Sorry, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, anyway, it's been a pleasure to be here, and I'm just going to do one more. I know, as Brad was saying a while ago, our, our world we're in today is is just, I don't, I don't even know a word. I, you know, it, there's just not a word. Tough. Sometimes it's just tough. But I know a God that's tougher. I know a God that's greater. And when there seems to be no way, He'll make a way. <laughs> well, it must have felt strange to end up stranded between an army and a sea. They must have felt forsaken Wondering why God wasn't all he said he'd be When your back's against the wall That's the hardest place of all But somewhere between provision and impossibility We live in America. We have a Bible. How many of you read your Bible? How many know where Moses was at one time before the Red Sea parted? How many know where the three Hebrew children were one time before God walked into the fire? Those guys saw no way out. I don't know what you're facing right now, but you may see no way out. But guess what? I know a God. And God will make a when there seems to be Absolutely, no way. Absolutely, positively, no way. 
but forever My God is faithful and He will make a road When you bear a heavy load, heavy load. I know, I know, I know, I know God will make a way When there seems to be no Because forever Awesome. Let's give them another round of applause, please. They are awesome. I am blessed to know them. I um, have known them for a while and just love them dearly. If you know them, you know that they are the kindest people. Um, they are even Brad. Yes, even Brad. Um, they are just, they are, I just, I love them to death. I'm very glad that they could be here with us. So um, this is the point where I get to kind of talk to you a little bit about why you're here um, and just kind of thank you for coming um, and just to kind of give you a brief um, description of where your money is going because I know it's very important for a lot of people. They want to know the money that they donate tonight. Where does it go? Who does it affect? Who does it help? Um, and so we've got actually two um, families that we're hoping to be able to help with the money that you send. And I'm just going to kind of give you a background story of them really quick. Um, one family is in Florida and they were affected by Hurricane Irma. They were actually, their house was completely destroyed and they are now um, living in an apartment um, with um, four children, five adults with no running water and no electricity. Um, and they're, they're actually they're living with um, the apartment. It's a uh, the wife, it's her sister's apartment. Um, so that's, um, it's a very tough situation um, there. And then also we're going back to Hurricane Harvey um, in Texas. There's a family there um, that actually, they lost their home as well. It's a pastor um, and the, him and his family were living in the parsonage of the church. The church is a relatively small church. So the church didn't have enough money to send them um, anywhere else to stay for rent um, or to, um, to rebuild the parsonage. Um, so they're having it rough. They're actually having to live in a room within the church with their belongings in another room of, of the church. So they are having it rough as well. Um, and they have um, a family. I think it's the, the mother, the father, and then three small children. Um, so they are having it rough as well. So the money um, that you give tonight is going to go help that help both of those families um, get up on their feet. Um, so at this time, if you want to, I would want to invite you to, um, to stand um, and, uh, and worship with us um, as we reflect um, and as we pray um, for... These victims. We're going to sing the first song.